my channel, It's Your Girl Coco Styles. And in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about tall women confidence, okay? I've decided to do a series of uh, videos for tall women um, because I am six feet tall. And I just thought that this would be something that would be really interesting to see how many other tall women there are out there in this social media world. Now, I do see tall women, but not as often as I used to. It's kind of like when I go somewhere, I'm the only one. Unless girls have on like five or six inch heels and then I'm still towering over them because I still wear heels. But my series are gonna, is going to consist of the struggles of being a tall woman, the advantages, shopping tips, uh, styling tips. Uh, let's see what else. Maybe some... You know where to shop where not to shop things like that so be on the lookout for that but in this particular video we're going to be talking about confidence and i'm just going to jump right into it i believe i have like five tips sorry but i'm going to be looking at my laptop just to make sure i don't miss anything but the first thing i want to say is number one is embrace your height embrace your height because this is what god has given you and you cannot change it you can't change it i was going to say like you can't change the skin color, but we've all seen that happen. <laughs> so embrace your height. You know, um, God created us in his own vision and just be thankful that you are here to experience this world. If you're tall, if you're short, whatever, he gave you that for that particular reason. Okay, we don't know what it is, if it's sports, if it's modeling, if it's just to kind of get the word out or just encourage other tall women or teenagers just to be confident in what they have been blessed with. So that's my first tip is being embracing your height. God does not make mistakes. Okay, guys, he does not. My tip number two, tip number two is to walk tall and to never to slouch, never slouch. My mom always told me growing up because she was taught, she was five, nine, but she was thick. She used to say she was big bone, big bone. I don't even know what big bone even means. <laughs> um, but she used to say always, you know, walk, walk tall, walk with your back straight, sit up straight, all those things. And I remember working at a company in New York and this other lady, she was tall too. She probably was like six, two, maybe six, three. And she's like, you know, sweetie, you always walk with your, you know, walk tall. And I was like, my mom always told me to sit up straight and walk tall and, and walk with confidence. And she's like, that's really good. And sometimes you don't know people are watching you, you know, on your day-to-day -day life or whatever. That was New York City. So just being on a subway and stuff, towering over people and stuff like that. Um, but, the, you know, it kind of stuck with me that she said that because I said to myself, you know, the way I carry myself, I don't even realize that other people are actually paying attention to it. There was a young lady I met where I used to hang out in New York and she said she had a daughter and she wanted her daughter to meet me because her daughter, I believe, was 12. She was like 5'10". And, you know, she's like, oh, she's not comfortable with being tall. And I can't. And she said she used to always tell her that I know a girl. She's tall. She always wears heels. And, you know, I wish I got a chance to meet her, but I didn't. But I, if she's out there... Listen, embrace your height and, you know, and don't slouch. Embrace it and don't slouch, okay? So for all the young girls out there in school, if you are a little bit taller than your friends and stuff, don't worry about it. Trust me, you'll grow all into all your height. Trust and believe me. Okay, so tip number three is to be happy. Be happy with what you were blessed with, okay? Your height Again, it's not something that you can change. You cannot change your height. You can only embrace it. You know, you can only embrace it and be confident with what you were given. So I would say try your best to really embrace this. If you got to fake it till you make it, then that's what you got to do. But at the end of the day, you cannot live your life every single day and not be happy with your height or whatever it is. And that can go for anything with your skin color, with your weight. You know, your weight is a little bit different because you can change that um, just with a little bit of help or just a little bit of push. But, you know, with your height, it's not something that you can just change it. You cannot change that. So with that being said, just be happy with what you are given and what you are blessed with by God and everything else will fall into place. I promise. Tip number four will be to follow other 
tall influencers. You know, before I started, before I thought about doing this series, I, you know, I just did like a, a quick search or whatever. It's not something that I looked for because my whole life I've known where to shop. I know what to do, what not to, what, you know, what to wear, what not to wear. I, you know, I know where to buy shoes and stuff. So those are the things that I just knew, I knew how to do it. Not thinking that my experiences can actually help another tall person out there. So I did do a search and I found a bunch of tall women on Instagram, beautiful women. I'm like, where, where are you ladies? I've never seen you ladies. And I'm going to link some of them below because I think they're good to follow. Um, you know, some can be like maybe um, personal trainers, whatever, to see how you look when you're working out. Who knows? One lady, I believe she's 6'6". Six, six. I believe she's 6'6". Six, six. To me, she doesn't look 6'6". Six, six. Um, she carries her weight, I mean, I'm sorry, her height very, very well. And she's beautiful. So I'm going to link a couple of those ladies down below for you guys to follow just to get some inspiration from it. Um, and tip number five would be to embrace all of the stares. Listen, guys, people are going to stare at you regardless. I don't care where you are, okay? Don't be super fine and tall because they're going to stare. Even if you have on sweatpants, because you are a tall woman and you demand attention just by being tall, People are always going to look at you. Now, I'm not saying all the stares are going to be good, but embrace them. Embrace them. If someone is staring at you too long, just smile at them and turn away or just be like, hello. You know, first of all, staring is extremely rude. I hate it. <laughs> but, you know, just just in, in, in embrace the stares because they will come. People, some people don't know how to just, like I said, smile and say hello and, and keep it pushing. You know, they don't realize that it kind of makes a person feel very, very uncomfortable when you're just staring at them. I don't care who you are. So embrace the stares and stuff, guys. So with that being said, I'm just going to give you guys a quick little recap. So tip number one is to embrace your height. Own it. Own it. Own it. Own it. Tip number two is to walk tall and to never slouch. That way, you know, that's a part of being confident. People know when you are not comfortable with being tall they can see that they can see that you don't want to give that impression off to anybody that you're not comfortable with what you have been blessed with number three was, was, was to be happy be happy with being tall embrace it number four is to follow other tall influencers you know um they're very confident because they're putting their, their life out there on social media um and tip number five is just to embrace all the stairs guys because they're coming and that's it. It's simple. Well, let me not say it's simple. If you got to fake it till you make it, then you do that until it becomes your reality. Because being tall is not a disadvantage, guys. It's not. It's something that you just need to be happy with. Be happy with it. Embrace it. And just know that you are who you are for a reason. Now, I'm not trying to give you guys a little pep talk like, like your children. But what I'm saying is like at the end of the day... You know, um, people are, there are people out there who will make you feel uncomfortable with being tall. Don't be around them. Don't be around them. If you find that someone is always making jokes and stuff about your height, uh, and this goes for your skin color, your nationality, your race, whatever. If you find that people are always making fun or poking at you about something, don't be around them. Don't just walk away. Don't be around them because at the end of the day, that's not healthy for you. And, you know, it doesn't help with your growth. So that's all my tips for today, guys. And like I said, I am going to do a series on some stuff and I can't wait to get to the juicy, juicy stuff with like fashion and stuff like that because I am, like I said, I am six feet tall, guys. So uh, I'll just show you guys how, how I shop, like the things that I shop for, where I shop, um, when it comes to shoes and stuff. There is a method to my madness sometimes, um, but I will say this, I haven't had any real trouble with finding clothes because I know what works for me and I've always shopped that way and um, I never really had an issue with it. So, you know, six feet is tall, but I know there are taller women out there and maybe they have some ideas and stuff for you guys too. So for all my tall ladies, 
If you have any suggestions and stuff for the ladies out here, please link that below. Well, comment that below for everyone to see it. But anyway, with that being said, um, if you guys like videos like this, please comment below um, what you liked about the video and also come back for the next se the, well, the next video in the series. And I ask that you guys please comment below if you stay to the end of this video. Coco, we see you. That way I know you stay to the end of the video. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.